Good morning, folks. We've got some space weather, earthquakes, top news stories, and major announcements, including how to win a free trip to Observing the Frontier 2018. Let's get started over at spaceweathernews.com. We're finding the last 24 hours on our star, a lot of the same story as yesterday. Quiet facing Earth and active at the incoming limb. Indeed, despite us beginning to trend lower in solar flare activity, we got a near M-class event yesterday. It was impulsive and from the incoming sunspot group. After the yellow 171, we'll pull 211 angstrom so you can see coronal expansion due to the event. The sunspots themselves are neither terrifying nor something to ignore. The size isn't bad, but for the most part it is magnetically separated laterally with a negative lead. However, one negative umbra is growing in the trailing positive group. It could disappear within hours or trigger larger solar flares. That's why we monitor down to the umbra and penumbra level of spots like this. Solar wind is relatively calm, but I've got just the last six hours from ACE here. Small rise beginning in telemetry just this morning, so geomagnetic conditions should also be in your peripherals today. Although they are quiet now, remember we expect a coronal hole stream impact that is officially late as of this morning. Top seismic event of the last day was a 6.8 that struck out in the middle of nowhere. Residents at an island a few hundred miles south felt the shake but laughed it off. Folks, in a continuation of the fact that most comets and asteroids are not found by NASA, but by sky geeks and Nibiru hunters, that's no joke, and it's us finding most objects, not them. And now the Planet 9 program to allow even regular amateurs like you to get involved just discovered its first object. A cold brown dwarf, they say, although I wouldn't rule out a massive rogue planet traipsing through the galaxy. It's about 100 light years away, which does put it in our stellar school district, but not in our immediate neighborhood. Found an awesome graphic from Space.com from 2012 that really shows what stars are closest by and also has some good info about them. Up next... The big break is about to happen. After being locked at the polar region for decades, if not more, the massive ice sheet at Larsen is about to send a crack off and act as an ice cube that begins floating around the southern oceans, adding fresh desalinating water as it does so. A number of breaks like that preceded the record high Antarctic ice of a few years ago, and this is probably how it happens. Ice confined at the poles warms the planet, but when it shares the wealth is when things get colder. So folks, the contest award at QuakeWatch.net goes up every month. There isn't a winner, and as you know, we started at 250 but we are now up to $400 for the winner of the contest. And how about this? For this first one only, the threshold magnitude will drop from 7.5 to 7.0. We will still use the USGS final magnitude. I'll throw in a free general admission ticket to Observing the Frontier 2018 for the winner as well. Get over to QuakeWatch.net, learn how to predict quakes, get in on the contest, and win. Speaking of giving away tickets to Observing the Frontier 2018, the first definite giveaway of tickets is coming up in less than two weeks. We will be giving away tickets in June and December. The August giveaways are for those who pre-registered for the conference early. In December, the drawing is open to anyone in the world, but this first one here is just for website members of SuspiciousObservers.org. All members will automatically be entered to win two free tickets, hotel stay for the duration of the conference, and $200 towards your travel costs, which means if you give the second ticket to a friend, split gas money, it's basically a free trip to the conference. Again, in December, we'll give one of these away to anyone. August is for those who pre-registered. And in just about 12 days, we'll be giving away these spots to a member of suspiciousobservers.org. So in addition to the contest prize at QuakeWatch.net, which is now easier to win and comes with a conference ticket, all members at SO can win tickets here next week. In the meantime, we've got a podcast coming up in just a few hours here. It's Saturday. We've got Fly on the Wall. But right now, we've got the world's weather on Windy.com, a null school storm run, and shots of our star to close. We'll do it all again tomorrow right here. But right now, it's 4.20 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.